Good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this video is for Brad. Brad is my friend and wanted a specific video done, and that is this stand right here. This stand is hiding a Western Union sign. This is the old stand where you go up and do money transfers with Western Union. If you're below 40, that's basically Venmo in the olden days when we had wagons and dinosaurs. Where Venmo, you can transfer money around the world in seconds. At Western Union, you can transfer it across state in hours or days. So the stand's unneeded. He wanted to see his, uh, the stand get shot up. It's been in his way for a long time. So we got my little buddy right there. And we put a little more thought into this. We would have uh, gotten information from Brad on like who his ex was or something like that. And given her maybe a hairy little mole or, or her name, but as it is, we don't know her name, so, oh, that's really bad handwriting, but that's gonna be Karen. So Brad is walking into his store, and he's got Karen coming at him wearing a military flak jacket. Can a BW S45 and 357 stop it? Or the Defender in uh, 357. I've just charged up a couple of the cartridges to 5,000 PSI. I'll be using those. I'll be using a new pellet. What I did was I'm trying to get into liquid powder coating. So this is my 125 grain. Uh, and you can see from the little rifling marks there, I shoved one down a barrel with a dowel rod. It uh, made very good contact. So that part went very, very well. With liquid tempering or with the uh, liquid coating, it runs at a higher temperature for a little longer. I think it tempered a little bit. This feels a little bit harder than my normal slugs. So I wanna see how it does in both the Defender at 5,000 PSI and the BW uh, S45 and 357 at 4,500 PSI. So that's what I've got this sucker aired up to. So I'm going to grab some barrels and get this set up. And what we're gonna do is see if one, it fires them, which I think it will, and uh, what the damage is to uh, Karen and the flak jacket and the Western Union sign. So talk amongst yourselves, this will take a second. Got one barrel set up, and let's get the other barrel set up. There we go. So we got a Defender with two barrels, 357, 5,000 PSI, using my new powder coated, liquid powder coated, 357 round. It's a 125 grain, just like the others I make for it. The vendor full of the same thing. So let's get that guy charged and ready to shoot. Well, easier said than done. As with most things, some things should just be done before the camera gets turned on. There we go. So I'm going to set the BWS 45 down. I'm going to do the Defender first. So let's crank this sucker up and bring it back a little bit. Get a good look at Karen there. And do two rounds with the Defender. Oh, it does have a safety. Okay, so Karen just took two center mass with the Defender. And now she's going to take eight more with BWS 45. Once again, safety works. Okay. I saw eight, eight impacts there and I saw two earlier, so we know that worked. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of holes through the dummy. Oh, look at that. Uh, there's the Western Union sign with all sorts of holes through it. So uh, I would call that a success. These uh, powder coated ones feed just fine through the BWS 45 and 357 and the Defender. They make really nasty holes through one layer of a flak jacket, Karen, the other layer of a flak jacket, two levels of aluminum and hit my backstop back there. So I would uh, call that a success. I still want to try some out before I start selling them on a large scale. So what I'll probably do is uh, 
maybe make a package and uh, see if somebody wants to buy some of these. I'll figure something out on that tonight. I want to show you one last thing before I go. And that is, this is the innards of a Defender cartridge. Now you may be asking yourself, Jim, why did you rip that thing apart? Well, more power. So my project right now that I hope to show you in a month or two will be more power for the Defender. I'll take all these little components and see what I can do to make that happen. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Karen will not be bothering you after that. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.